What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the studio. So today is a final day. Today is that day. I never thought this day would come, but it's here. And that is the final DLC for Smash Bros. Ultimate is being announced today. Now, this is just the beginning. This is a recording before the actual stream, you know, the live showing of the new character. And later on in this video, it's going to be me in the future talking about okay so we got this set character and stuff so if you're wondering what the fuck is going on with this video i'm just giving you a heads up on that's what this video is so before we get into that you know like comment subscribe share it to friends and family that love smash bros and whatever so let's get into talking about what is going on so today october 5th it took 2021 it's the final day for smash bros ultimate dlc character is being revealed sakurai is going to sit down like he's always has and he'll show off the character he's going to show how he fights how they play and all that stuff now speculation has been running wild you know pretty much every nintendo character known to man is pretty much in this game that we all know and love kirby mario um you name it they're probably in it and we're all out of ideas of who we could really see put in this game. Well, I'm out of all out of ideas. Everybody else is probably bringing up stuff like I seen Doom Guy, Master Chief, Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot is probably the guy that I'm leading towards, but I could be wrong. Maybe him or Spyro. I've seen people say Jonesy from Fortnite. I honestly, honestly, honestly think it is going to be Sora from Kingdom Hearts, but. A lot of people are going to cry about that, saying that's just another sword fighter and blah, 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 blah. Anime sword fighter. And it's like, bro, it's not that deep. But, you know, you know how these Super Smash Bros. fans can really be. They can be really, really toxic and idiotic. And it's sad when you go on YouTube and you see a lot of YouTubers, especially like, you know, big Nintendo YouTubers like Nintendo Life and them making PSAs about, you know, pretty much summing up some them saying like, hey, if your character don't make it into the game, don't be a dick. All right. That's pretty much what I'm getting out of it. And it's sad that they have to make videos like that, that, you know, Smash Bros. fans just can't, you know, get over themselves. But, you know, a lot of people feel like Smash Bros., the Smash Bros. community can be a pain in the ass. And it can be. But there are some cool people in the Smash Bros. community. So don't deter from being part of the community. Just don't deal with the ones who think they're better than everybody else. And those ones usually don't take showers or don't take baths. Cause I've heard the rumors about smash bros community. They don't shower and all that stuff. And I end up going to one of the um, tournaments and it was confirmed for me because I'm like, Jesus Christ, it smelled fucking horrible in there. But when I hear the clown, uh, smash bros community, we hear the clown, how they act when it comes down to not getting what they want. They act like a bunch of fucking five year olds. I've seen it on Twitter, Facebook, and it's hilarious. And when you're just speculating, having fun, be like, Hey, maybe this is going to be a character. They will lose their collective shit. Like they're losing their collective shit right now for the uh, Nickelodeon game that just came out. And it's, it's hilarious. Like, dang, ain't nobody else can make a game just like that. I mean, it's not that like they're copying smash bros or they could just say they were inspired by the game like there's a lot of games that are copy and paste that are just like other games and nobody bats an eye but when it comes out of smash bros everybody's about to throw a big ass hissy fit like it doesn't it, to me it doesn't matter but my thoughts is going to be like uh crash bandicoot or sora from kingdom hearts those are my two go-to right there those are the only two people i can really honestly think i mean i can say master chief but uh even though halo is coming out in december uh, 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 I guess whatever. But like I said before, it is pretty sad that the you know these people come out here making YouTube videos and making PSAs talk about some that hey look if a character don't make it into the game, it is what it is. If a character does make it into the game, it is what it is. And that's as I said in my last video I made, but it was Cowboy Bebop. It was. You know, you got your diehard, 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 diehard Smash Bros fans who are grounded in reality, and you got your diehard, diehard, diehard fans who are grounded in stupidity. You always got to remember that. Not every, everybody's not going to be satisfied when it comes down to Smash Bros. Not everybody's going to be satisfied when it came down to Cowboy Bebop. There's going to be some things you're just not going to like. There's going to be characters going to be added that you're just not going to like. It's not going to ruin the game for you because you still have other characters that you're going to like. I have not seen not one person sit here and say that there's not one good fighter on the Smash Bros, you know, roster. And if they do say that, that's cap because they probably didn't use everybody. 
I tried to use everybody as possible and see who I was good with. And I found my three or four people that I'm good with. So if anybody says that, that's cap because they did not use everybody. And if they have used everybody, they're either ass or garbage or they're just being a dick and being a troll because they didn't get what they want. So let, let's let's be real. There's there's a character on that roster for everybody, for newbies, for for newcomers, for people who are like on and off, casual players. You got your diehards, all that stuff. But back to, you know the character reveal because i'm getting off well i'm not off topic but i'm getting off topic just talking about the community i like i said crash bandicoot sora i honestly think it is going to be sora like i don't want it to be but i mean if it is it is i'm not gonna you know knock people for that you know people talk about some sora deserves to be in it. i'm like not really i mean what game video game character deserves to be in smash bros honestly like if that's the case why snake don't need to be in the game because i don't think metal gear solid was ever in a nintendo switch game a nintendo game console uh, on again ugh, nintendo game period then like this one guy not too long ago on uh, facebook and i need to get out of these facebook groups um was sitting there calling me a buffoon because i thought that fortnite i i just was just joking around thinking that fortnite was going to be added to you know smash bros maybe jonesy or something because i'm like it's you know it's a well i want to say it's well respected because it's some people hate it but it is being played for esports and all that stuff and he called me delusional just because i just because it's popular and it's esport and i'm like it doesn't make me delusional it's just a wild guess the dude really got in his feelings about it and i'm like you know he got in his feelings about it like dead ass serious got in his feelings about it and said the only reason why they're not gonna add jonesy and all them is because of the fact that they have guns in their game and all that stuff and i'm like right because you know metal gear solid doesn't have guns at all and it's not like bayonetta's heels are made out of guns either but you know whatever and he tried to sit there and try to you know nintendo tries to stray away from guns and all that stuff but yet they let doom on their console they let quake on their console they so it's like it's like some of these smash bro fans can really make themselves sound really stupid and it's it is hilarious to me but like i said before grounded in reality someone just grounded in stupidity and that's just yeah, how, how it is honestly but i'm gonna watch the trailer we're gonna watch that trailer i'm gonna watch the reveal i come back in probably about an hour or two and yeah so let me go ahead and watch it hopefully guys you guys are watching it i wish i could live stream it but yeah i'm at work so i can't live stream it at the moment so let's go see what they give us and hopefully that it's a so hopefully it's something dope that we all can remember
ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we got Sora from Kingdom Hearts finally in Smash Bros. Now, as I said before, you know, I watched the trailer and the live stream and all that stuff. One of my guesses was Sora. Now, did I want Sora? Not really. I'm not a Kingdom Hearts fan and I don't plan on trying to play the games. And I have no beef with the games for the folks that think I have beef with. It's just like, nah, I just never really got into the series. Oh, would you play Final Fantasy? Yeah, I love Final Fantasy through and through, just not this you know and for the folks i've been seeing on twitter it's like twitter is having a meltdown right now well i want to say meltdown half of the community is going to have a meltdown but the other half is happy i'm happy for the folks that really want to soar in the game you finally got your character that y'all wanted now people are saying there's another sword fighter i'm like bro i honestly don't really care or what character they put in the game you know this is the final character 89 characters i think that's kind of an odd number to end off on you might as well round it up to 100 and give us a couple more characters but if that's what he wants to leave off on if sakurai wants 89 characters by all means i i can't really say much about it but it is dope to see sora is finally in the game here are some tweets of salty twitter users that are really really upset like motherfuckers really thought master chief was gonna be in the game i'm like you gotta sit back and think honestly most characters on the roster have had a game on the, any Nintendo console. Like, I really had to go back and see if Solid Snake or uh, Metal Gear Solid had a game on any Nintendo console, and they actually did. Uh, some people were saying they could have added a Resident Evil character, because Resident Evil does have games on Nintendo. But it is what it is. I Like I said, I'm happy for the folks that wanted to soar. Like I said, my character has been in the game. You know, all Fire Emblem characters. Those, those have been my guys since I first started playing Smash. So... And I'm like I said, I'm not really good at the game either. So I'm not gonna say there and be acting like, oh, I'm esports material and all that shit. I'm like, nah, bro, I'm just a casual. It, it is what it is. But seeing folks that are really happy about it, I give them thumbs up. Now, some cross the line talk about some, you know, Sora should have been put in first before Cloud and Sephiroth. And I'm like, you gotta be fucking stupid. Like, if there was if there was no Final Fantasy, there wouldn't be a Kingdom Hearts. And Cloud and Sephiroth are both in Kingdom Hearts just i think they're cameos or something i don't know that's like sitting there saying that um persona is better than shimigami tensei and i'm like well you know shimigami tensei and persona are pretty much the same thing because persona is just a spinoff of shimigami tensei and i haven't played neither one but i am gonna get shimigami tensei 5 because a lot of people have been telling me to play it but it's good to see that and like i said and this just proves my point and i'm well actually i'm not trying to prove a point because it's just it's just there people should already know this right off the back but you got your diehard, diehard, diehard fans of Smash Bros. Who also grounded in reality and understand that, though, like, we can't get everything that we want, you know? He, Sakurai has done all he could to please everybody. And if your character still didn't make it into Smash Bros., I don't know what to fucking tell you, bro. Like, honestly, I really don't know what to tell you. Like, we're damn near 100 characters and you still ain't get your character in there. That You might want to go talk to the game of developers that make your favorite game. Because maybe Sakurai just didn't see him as, you know... You know smash bros material you know what i'm saying it's like the vip section is what smash bros is like if you you the talk of the town and you you got the shit best believe you know you're like that um uh, that little fancy party that everybody gets invited to every year but you because you're not top tier or whatever whatever it is that's why i always love the trailers when the characters get the envelope with the little red smash bros thing on the back of it like oh shit he got invited to the met gala or some shit like that but Sora finally gets his gets making it to the game. I didn't get to see like the arenas or his final smash or anything like that. Cause once I watched the trailer, I turned off the stream because like I said, I'm still at work. So happy for folks. Here's some tweets of people being salty. Here's some tweets from people being happy. It's it's a good day for a smash, because like it's the last character too. I was hoping that he was gonna announce and say that, hey, we're gonna add some more characters, but no, he actually said that this is it. That's it. Still an odd number, but to me it's an odd number, 89. But hey, it is what it is. Sakurai knows what the fuck he's doing. I'm not going to question him because I'm not a gaming developer and I'll never be one no time soon. So, but what do you guys think? Do you think Sora was a good last character to be put in the game or do you think it was just a waste of a slot? Do you think that, you know, it could have been went to somebody else? I've seen the Waluzi fans. They are fucking heated. They are, they're pretty mad. I'm like, why? Why are y'all mad? Like, make sense of that for me, bro. Make sense of that. But other than that, guys, I love y'all. Hope y'all taking care of yourselves. Don't kill each other over a video game character. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, peace.